You have no idea how I have missed you. <laughs> how I have missed this so, so much. So, my, God bless you, my story is much too talk dad to be told. I hear everything. But practically everything leaves me totally cold. The only exception I know is the case when I'm out on a quiet spree, fighting vainly that old ennui, and I suddenly turn to see. Seriously, I was supposed to be here two years ago. I was at the hairdresser, and all of a sudden, everybody's phone starts blowing up, and it's like, what, what, what do you mean, bro? what, what, COVID? Surely it's gonna last a week, maybe two. It's Broadway, for God's sakes, it'll be back. <laughs> so I might have been dreaming of this moment for about two years. Because, thank you. And I have to tell you, this is one of the most beautiful spaces that Phil and I have ever played in. We are very grateful. Please, someone call 54 Below and have them come out and do a little check. <laughs> Sorry, 54 Below. Anywho, I just have to tell you, the last time I was in Indianapolis was, I don't remember how many years ago, but we had just closed Elf, and I got on a plane, and I flew here. Is that for Elf? Thank you. Thank you. So I, I know, thank you. Phil wrote all the arrangements for Elf and the drowsy chaperone. But we will talk about that a little later because I have to tell you, when I flew to Indianapolis, I got in at midnight and I didn't really have a whole lot of time and I was hired by Jack. Where are you? Hello, darling. And Ty hired me to do hairspray. And it was really fun, but I had a song about something about crabs <laughs> and Baltimore. And I just remember one night as one of my fondest memories of Jack Everly. I was singing the reprise of the song about crabs. And I went up and I realized I'd skipped a verse. So you know what I did? I belted a C for about 18 bars. <laughs> and then I could see Jack Everly and his brilliance know that she's really so. I saw him speeding up the orchestra so I wouldn't pass out and I could actually finish. Oh, I mean, for like half a page of that, I'm sure that your audience was going. Wow, that's some longs. But that's my memory of Indianapolis. And my gratitude for you will never end for saving my life. Here's just another little thing. We were driving around today. We were in Monument Circle, and or what is that statue called? Soldiers and sachets. What is it? So, soldiers and sailors. What? It's what? Soldiers and sailors. I was seeing that, and I noticed that it was, had all the Christmas lights on, and that we're missing it by one week. And I thought, damn it, because. We need a little Christmas right this very minute. Candles in this window, carols at this minute. Yes, we, anyway. But I must, I must tell you that more than anything else, what's inspiring me right now is seeing your fabulous face. You see what I did there? Thank you. Some get a kick, thank God you're on the front row. From champagne, I feel sorry for the people in the front row, you have no idea. Mere alcohol, here she comes. Doesn't thrill me at all, actually it does, but I'm in the dark, but tell me. What, note to self, what should be true? That I get a kick out of, can I touch you with COVID? I'm in the dark, some get a kick. From cocaine, don't do drugs. 
I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, that would bore me terrifically too. But I get a kick mm. out of you. I get a kick every time I see you sitting here before me. And I get a kick cause it's clear to see Indian apple as a jut Oh, me, you're welcome. Some get a kick on a plane flying too high with some guy in the sky is my idea of nothing to do seriously I mm, get a kick 